Tonight is a particular honor for me because, let's face it, my presence on this stage is pretty unlikely. My father was a foreign student, born and raised in a small village in Kenya. My parents shared not only an improbable love, they shared an abiding faith in the possibilities of this nation. I stand here knowing that my story is part of the larger American story, that I owe a debt to all of those who came before me, and that in no other country on earth is my story even possible. <laughs> Alongside our famous individualism, there's another ingredient in the American saga, a belief that we're all connected as one people. If there is a child on the south side of Chicago who can't read, that matters to me even if it's not my child. If there's a senior citizen somewhere who can't pay for their prescription drugs and having to choose between medicine and the rent, that makes my life poorer even if it's not my grandparent. It is that fundamental belief, I am my brother's keeper, I am my sister's keeper, that makes this country work. E pluribus unum, out of many, one. Now, even as we speak, there are those who are preparing to divide us. The spin masters, the negative ad peddlers, who embrace the politics of anything goes. Well, I say to them tonight, there is not a liberal America and a conservative America. There is the United States of America. There is not a black America and a white America and Latino America and Asian America. There's the United States of America. The pundits like to slice and dice our country into red states and blue states, but I've got news for them too. We worship an awesome God in the blue states, and we don't like federal agents poking around in our libraries in the red states. We coach Little League in the blue states, and yes, we've got some gay friends in the red states. We are one people, all of us pledging allegiance to the Stars and Stripes, all of us defending the United States of America. The way you use in the end, in the end, that's what this election is about. Do we participate in a politics of cynicism, or do we participate in a politics of hope? It's the hope of slaves sitting around a fire singing freedom songs. The hope of immigrants setting out for distant shores. The hope of a young naval lieutenant bravely patrolling the Mekong Delta. The hope of a mill worker's son who dares to defy the odds. The hope of a skinny kid with a funny name who believes that America has a place for him too. Hope, hope in the face of difficulty. Hope in the face of uncertainty. The audacity of hope. I believe this country will reclaim its promise and out of this long political darkness, a brighter day will come. Thank you very much, everybody. God bless you.